Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 3rd of January and I have some news for you regarding the Steam Client Beta as a subtle update to the beta has added a rather long requested feature to the Steam overlay and that is the ever requested frame rate counter. Now it did actually roll out yesterday, that being the 2nd of January of course. Um, Naturally, this is causing PC gamers all around to throw their hats into the air and rejoice. As, of course, it had been pretty highly requested for a while, as if they wanted to use a tool like Fraps or something similar, if they wanted to check the game's frame rate. And, of course, many are now asking for the FPS counter to be customisable in both colour and display position. But, of course, just having it there at all is a massive plus. Now, the FPS counter was, of course, added in with a few other things and... A also came alongside a few fi fixes and adjustments to broadcasting as well as optimizations. And for the full patch, well, you need only listen further. As we have general, reduce CPU usage when drawing animated images or video, fix video playback performance regression on Mac OS X and Linux, add an FPS counter to Steam Overlay, fixed reloading settings value in the Steam Overlay, and as for broadcast, they have improved capture performance in D3, D9 games, improved audio video synchronization, improved automatically adjusting video encoding bitrate when a change in available upload bandwidth is detected, fixed opening the broadcast watch page from client UI in the Steam Overlay, Improved capture performance in OpenGL games when hardware support is enabled on machines with newer NVIDIA GPUs. Added first time use and other UI to big picture mode. And fixed first friend invite to a broadcast sometimes getting dropped. And apparently if you want to have a look at this and you're of course, you know, interested in betas, Steam, settings, slash in-game and check the option show in-game frames slash sec FPS. Now this is pretty good because, well, if you didn't want to download Fraps or whatever and you didn't want it eating up that tiny little bit of power or what have you, it is now built into Steam, which is definitely a massive plus if, of course, you're just trying to keep an eye on your frame rate, see how stable it's running and that sort of thing. So I think this is definitely going to be praised as one of the best updates to the Steam client beta in quite some time. Do let me know your thoughts below, though, guys, and I'll see you next time.